lawyer parts of this game. I think if they can get through it, they have the necessary to still win this coming into the to mid to late game. I estimate you blew it. You blew it. You really should prepare for battle. So here we go. Game one. <laughs> In a pretty exciting matchup here. A uh, matchup with a lot of history, and whether it's tarnished by the fact that No Tail is here or not. I mean, this is one that is. If you see it on the schedule, it's one to watch. So I'm pretty excited to see how it all goes down. How who's gonna end up taking this one? If anybody's getting revenge here, let's see. Obviously, with that last series between them being a one-one, it's not like anybody lost and is getting revenge. Cuckoo right now sent up towards this top bounty rune and. For a moment, it's just battle. Anna up there with no supports. Is as Thompson one? will make his way over towards mid. Sasha, we'll see if he heads top as well. It looks like it's setting up to be a 2 1 2 4 OG. Same will be said for TNC. Kuku looking for a high five. And I'm not going to give it, but Tim's is here, and uh, Tim's does have that fissure. They'll miss the spear, so Anna able to pick up the bounty rune. Meanwhile, over bottom, it'll be a one-for-one one split here, too. So, two-for-two. Two. As the lanes start to flesh out, we'll see how this ultimately ends up going. We should see Jerex get mobile. Maybe not at level one. Could see it more towards level 2, level 3 in this lane. So it could start to take over. You get the Iron Shell on Jerax. He moves over towards top. We'll charge up here. You, you know, you can use the Shadow Word, the Fatal Bonds, and then have Anna go in and potentially get a couple of kills. Same could be said for over mid. I'm, if you charge in on Armel at the right moment, I mean, tops in. Definitely has the tools at his ready to work with a potential charge. But for the moment, Cuckoo will be by himself as Tim's will drag the lane all the way under the tier 1 tower. But Cuckoo dealing with a lot of damage that he's just got to eat at the moment. The Shadow Word on him. He's got four tangos, a little bit of regen for him. Meanwhile, over mid with Topson as well as Armel. He's got the Salve and another shared tango available for the Storm's turn. Just one shared tango ready here for Topson. So we'll see how aggressive Armel is going to get, if at all. Maybe that's more reliant on whether or not the Earthshaker comes around of Tim's and throws a Fissure to block in the Invoker, and that looks like what they might be setting up for immediately coming into this one. Got Tops in it under half health. And if they can just find the Fissure, if he gets past these stairs and gets Fissured, he might just be dead here if he's not too careful. And there's the Fissure to start. It won't land, but Topson will be in trouble as he's blocked out from getting into high ground. A lot of damage coming in, but a Tornado hits on both these heroes. He'll go stalk and survive. So they do rotate the Earthshaker immediately coming off that drag of the top lane. And despite all that, I, I mean, the Fissure doesn't land. It does block him from getting to the high ground. But he's able to successfully go swap. However, he's coming back around. Tim's wants to go for this. And Armel will get first blood. So he backs off and Topson feels like he's okay. You know, he missed the he, he missed the attempt to get first blood. He probably went back to his lane. Unfortunately, they didn't have vision of him coming back around and going for it again. If you don't get it right the first time, try and try again. And, uh, you know, try and try again. Why don't you just keep on coming, Thompson? No, Ghost Walk again. Tim's was looking for the fissure. Playing very aggressive in this mid lane. Let's take a look over the bottom. Seven, one mango remaining. Jerax level two. He's got one into the Greater Bash now with that charge. He doesn't actually have enough mana to charge out just yet. 
Seb sitting 12 and 0 in this bottom lane, trying to creep cut here. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Has that ever no been called for Gabby at a 19 and 3? Doing a very good job. 20 and 3 in this bottom lane. Fiddle Bonds is thrown out. Cuckoo taking a lot of damage here. He is consistently sitting under about half health, but Tim's finally coming back over towards top. They have the ward, they have the vision of Sivas. If he rotates back up towards top, where he's going to be positioning wise, as this creep wave is pushing in, but at least Tim's TPing over bottom to get the kill on his Seb. Jarex is under the tower, blocked in by the creeps, and in so much trouble, he'll fall to Tim's as well. So he TPs out, gets the double kill, and for TNC, it's a 3 nothing lead. Early on, I mean, their lanes are going really well. They're a thousand net worth ahead already. But Armel, he'll get charged. That'll bring in the bass. The cold snap coming through from Thompson. This will be the first kill here for OG and a big one that they very much needed as Thompson had died early on in this lane and given up first blood and finally gets it back, killing off the storm going up for that power room top. Cuckoo will take away that vision. Just sitting here level 4. Well, we really yet to see Jarek's come over top, but now they're going to go here for AU on the Shadow Demon. Abby turns around, the Bash comes in. Seb trying to move forward with the Iron Shell to get this kill into the Shadow Demon. Won't be enough damage. Continuing to just maybe deter the aggression of TNC if they start to feel a little bit uncomfortable. Controlling the top bounty runes. They'll get the top ones. The Fissure comes in and makes sure that they can secure them. Two for one right now as this bounty rune still exists. But charge coming out over mid onto the Storm Spirit. Cold snaps there. They've got the bash. This might be enough. One more shot. And it will go to Jerax. But the Fissure hits on two. Tower hitting away at the Spirit Breaker. Unfortunately, there's nobody to follow this up. And Jerax is safe sitting on 150 health is under attack. so they rotate over they get another kill here onto the storm spirit slowing down that progression of a lane that did look good in the early goings finally starting to see Jarak roam around a little bit and he should be heading towards top and will be with the charge they've got the fatal bonds preemptively on him the spear locks down the earth up and now they're coming in let's see if he's able to get away from this one Jarek's maybe trying to body block but getting around and throwing that ulti but he's got two heroes left with him cuckoo exits the coliseum and Akka trying to keep up with cuckoo as they will finally charge again and a continuing under the tier one tower and they'll finally chase all the way in to get this kill. Dyer's middle tower is under Started 3-0 for TNC, but since that point has ended up becoming even. So is the net worth. Gabby's still farming really well here over bottom and about seven minutes in. We'll switch it over to the net worth. We'll see how far ahead he is. He's up about 200 gold on the Ursa. So both these one positions having a really good time. And again, again, they want to go after Kuku. The charge comes out. We'll get speared to the nearest tree. So that'll stop the aggression coming in from OG. But Jarek's starting to be the nuisance that Spirit Breaker can be. Just continuing to charge at his opponents. Meanwhile, our Melanie, you trying to clean up a stack. Died twice on this Storm Spirit already. He going down as Anna makes the rotation. He's going into that Midas. I was a bit surprised he had gone for that rotation, but nonetheless, it works out and slows down Gabby, who was top of the net worth, and it should be this Ursa taking over. Has that ever been cause for celebration? Tornado EMP, Radiant's Armel out of mana, but no follow-up coming in. Meanwhile, Tim's is heading over towards top. They've got five heroes on the top end of this map, with just Jarex around. 
forward in between the tier one and the tier two placed by the warlock and i continue to farm bottom again it's just jarax top with so many heroes rotating and finally back to mid is armel see if they eventually go for this spirit breaker and if the rotations will come out from og AU showing himself, the creeps will spot him, so Jarek falling back even deeper into the trees under this tier 1 tower. Gabby also showing over towards top. Nobody here just yet, but walking towards top will be Seb, so we'll see how OG react and if TNC are willing to go in deep for this kill. And they will. They've got the fissure. And we'll banish him. AU here with Cuckoo as well as Gabby looking to set up something nice. Fatal Bond's placed down. The charge comes out. Hits on two. Gabby needs to be careful. The tornado only comes through to hit on the Shadow Demon. With the EMP setting up, they've got the cold snap. The TP attempt away from the Shadow Demon. They're unable to stop him from TPing out. The wall plays down. Cuckoo spears back one. Which, uh, and the Fissure hitting on the charging Jerax. So after all is said and done, all the rotations coming out from OG. I mean, nobody goes down. The closest to falling was the Shadow Demon. He got the disruption off to start that full attempt out, and, well, I mean, nothing really panned out for either side. Tims gets the kill here on the Warlock. Strange to say, All that's happening while Topson is pressuring this tier 1 tower. They end up getting a scan here on Armel. And Jarex wrapping all the way around him, getting that ulti off the EMP coming through. They've locked him up enough to get him low on mana as well as the cold steps. There's no way out of this one. Anna comes around as well. Here helping is Seb, and they get themselves the kill onto Armel for the third time. Three moves there from Jerax. They got that scan out. The word that they had placed previously in between the tier one and tier two was dewarded. But again, cold snap charge coming through. Cuckoo in trouble with the spear, locking in Anna for quite some time. But the tornado comes in, hits on through the EMB. They take it out. Cuckoo, they just. Corruption to keep AU alive for a little bit longer. The courier trying to come in and deliver something. Tim's against Jarex on the back lines, but not forming into much. Meanwhile, moving forward is Armel. He's got the vortex. Locking down Thompson, but is it going to be enough damage? The ghost walk, and he's just able to walk away from this one. So OG taking no casualties and potentially looking for Gabby. The TP over from Thompson, they'll spot him. Ghost uh, Cold Snap coming out of the ghost walk, and they will get the kill here on the Gabby. And it's now 8 to 4 in favor of OG. OG, I spoke about it in the draft where they were going to have this early to mid game power spike and they were able to play this really aggressively and that's exactly what they're showing us right now. They're up a thousand net worth. I think they really need to continue snowballing out of control here and put the pressure on the TNC, especially with how much they, they really disrupted the storm. Things are looking pretty good. However, saying that they've disrupted the storm and, and the fact that he's died three times, his net worth still ahead of Thompson. Fire's top tower is under Charge attack. will be all the way committed I repeat myself? on a cuckoo, but nobody rotating from TNC, Radiant's nobody following that up for OG. They are pressuring the bottom tier Fire's one, trying to take this tower, and they should be able to do so once the creeps business. are here, as they've got four set up to do so. Fire's top tower is under attack. Must I repeat myself? Jerax looking to charge. And this is going to be on the Cuckoo. Oh, but the spear comes in. I'm not sure if that was on purpose or not. Maybe just to throw it at those creeps. I don't know if it's going to matter if they throw the OT out on the Cuckoo. He's taking a lot of damage. The Echo Slam comes out from Tins as well as the ball lightning through. But they've got the Chaotic Opening as well as the Fatal Bond. It's not going to be enough. They lose Tops and they lose Sasha. And now Seb getting chased down here by Gabby. He'll end up falling. It's going to be three dead here for OG. They took out Cuckoo. They're looking for more. They want to get a kill here on Armel. Anna trying to chase him down. He's low on mana, but he has enough to ball lightning behind the tier one tower and get out of the hands of Anna on this Ursa. So they get three kills, they put it together, the Echo Slam, the Ball Lightning, with the Remnant. The damage that was just outputted by Armel there, with the rest of his team, to, to really stop OG in their tracks. And 
win that fight by the tier one tower. So the aggression not paying off for OG this time. And a lot of gold here to be taken by TNC with these stacks. Plus one there for Cuckoo. Uses that ulti to get the kill on the Spirit Breaker, but Gabby needs to be careful. Open wounds, Anna continuing to give chase. Tops him behind him. Has to slowed up. Like nobody's business. Dyer's top tower is under attack. OG continuing to try and pressure. They want to continue to get tier ones, take these fights if they feel so inclined, and if they can come out on top, unlike the one that just happened. But they'll go for the tier one tower. They've got the fissure as well as the vortex. That's in a lockdown. Top in. They'll go the tornado as well as the EMP, but he's in a bad spot. They've got the dust. They'll get the kill. He'll take out the invoker. Cuckoo a little bit low. He's an out of mana at the moment as the EMP was right on top of him. But OG are not going to look to try and settle the score here. And TNC. Play it perfectly again. They get right on top of the Invoker. They go with the Ball Lightning. They've got the Vortex and the Fissure to lock him down, as well as the Dust to keep the Vision. But back over mid, they threw that ulti. Gabby will rage and try to escape. Stun from Tim's on the two. And OG feeling a little out of sorts. But the Iron Shell, as well as the Surge, Anna trying to keep up, but now Aegis here, and Anna needs to be a little bit careful. The ulti thrown once again, the Demonic Purge on Anna, as well as Cuckoo throwing the ulti. He's got the Coliseum down around him. He'll stun him up. Jarrett's on the back line. They've got the Fissure to follow it up, and now the Echo Swift drops down again here. On a lot of these OG heroes. Sim, he's trying to run away. Does get the kill to Tim's, but the ball landing over. They're on top of top team once again, and they won't. Can they get the kill? Is he going to be able to make it out of this one? For the disruption, keeps him right there. It's, oh, Thompson! Are you kidding me? How does he get out of that one? Four heroes around him, and he somehow makes it out. Jerks will be the sacrificial lamb for this one. It could have been two of them. Don't tell me he charges out of this one. <laughs> oh my god, they don't even get Jerex! Bravo! Bravo! And now OG, they want to turn it back on. And he's flipping that switch off. The Chaotic Offering comes in. Gabby, your R's. And OG gets the kill. They get Topson and Jerex out of there. And they will throw the Chaotic Offering down to clean up Gabby. TP and then Cuckoo. And then Topson both here. They need to be careful. Cold Snap throwing an illusion as well as the Spirit Vessel. Very nice. Dyer's no, OG. They have not stepped off the gas. I mean, it, it is gone back and forth. OG have lost a couple of these fights, but they're not getting it up. Adam. He might be in trouble. Won't give the choice. Got the gun of Fissure on the two. Set. Locked in for just a moment. They don't get the kill on Anna. It was a three man stun at least. As the ulti comes in from Jarex a little bit lower. As Tim's in a bad spot, but he gets the stun on a set as well as Jarex. Now the charge comes out. They'll get the kill here. They'll take out at least one. OG potentially looking for more. Still that going for a little bit longer. And they are pressuring over towards the tier two, but they'll chase over towards top for a moment. Charge coming out on Gabby, but the spear. And as well as Jarek, they'll get the tornado to follow this up. They've got a spirit vessel on a cuckoo. He needs to be careful. Gabby open wounds. Cuckoo just surviving, getting onto that high ground. Jarek will try and charge out. He won't be able to do so. However, they lose the warlock. So TNC doing such a good job here of taking on OG's aggression. And they are going to throw some aggression of their own as they've got the vortex that sets up the spear into the trees and perfectly done there by TNC.
very well done by TNC to just put that together. And, and like I said in the draft too, you know, OG wants to put on the aggression, but if TNC can mitigate that aggression and, and get through this part of the game, they look good coming in, coming in and, and, and maybe securing a victory. It's a close game right now, just about 20 minutes in, and TNC, they have seem to have done well eating what OG's throwing their way. See how TNC continue to extend this lead up 2,000 net worth. Now they've got the Blink Dagger here on Tim's, who has had some immaculate Echo Slams in these fights, especially multiple times by the Tier 1 Tower. However, right now, OG, they're trying to go for Roche. Cuckoo making his way in, falling over. They might be able to get the kill. Chaotic offering. Sun for a moment, maybe? No, they get the Echo Slam off. They kill off Animal. Take out Zaksha, who never gets this Chaotic offering off. He looked for a moment that he was going to throw it. They'll get the kill here on a Tim's. This is the Fatal Bonds as well as the Vacuum Wall. is doing a lot of damage. They'll take out Tim's and AU. They'll look for Cuckoo. At the same time, Armel and Gabby need to get out of there. Roche still alive, but with a minuscule amount of health. Strange to so say two for two, they do kill Anna and slow down attack. that progression onto this Roche and, and basically halting it while Anna's dead. But TNC know they might need to fight again, especially once Anna's up. These fights back and forth, constantly back and forth. Ball lightning with the infest. They've got the vortex on the tops, and they need to be careful. But there's that chaotic offering that Saksha was trying to throw in the previous engagement. They've got the spear. Armel now dead. That is a huge problem. Good fissure there from Tim's to keep OG away from the rest of the team. However, with that kill on the storm spirit, this should secure the Roach and the Aegis in the hands of Anna. And it will. So you take a look at this graph. Middle tower is under attack. And it has just been back and forth and back and forth. And OG have not stepped off it. They continue to try and pressure TNC. The tornado splits the seams of AU as well as Cuckoo, but they've got the EMP as well as the cold snap. The spirit vessel placed onto the shadow demon. They will be able to secure the kill. And while doing so, they're still looking for more. Cuckoo, spear again. Locks Jerex onto the tree. Doing very well stopping these charges of Jerex with that. Dyer's middle tower is under an extra However, with this Aegis in hand, OG feel confident and will continue to pressure the bottom tier too. Has that ever been in this bottom half of the match. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Charge again, not giving up. Radiance bottom tower is being subjected to extreme. Although the violence. pressure's coming out, I'm really, really impressed with how TNC has handled Radiance it. This game is even because they've done Seems so well. To be the day for it. The smoke comes out from OG. Desolator finished off here on Gabby on this life stealer. Midas paying off in dividends as he's got the armor as well as the Deso. Right to the top side of the map. Maybe this time they can get Cuckoo after charging him so many times to charge into the EMP. Get him out of mana. Put the spirit, spirit vest on top of him. Get the kill. And OG move over with that smoke to get themselves just one on the Mars. Dyer's top tower is being attacked like nobody's business. I'm now doing a good job of pushing in this creep wave as OG were over towards top, not allowing them to get that tier one tower. We'll see if TNC set up for anything. They've got the blink dagger here as well as a smoke ready on AU. They might want to be aggressive once they've got the Mars back up. They can blink in, echo slam, and infest pop, and that's exactly what they're gonna look to do. Mars will finally be up. He'll TP in. They've got the blink dagger ready and a front lining. He does have this Aegis, so they wanna find the right positioning for TNC. And if they can, they should be able to take this fight pretty easily, but the smoke gets broken. 
and the spear misses, so they give up on that immediately. They pop the infest, and they walk away from the tier two tower. Radiant surge on Anna, catching up to Gabby. Won't go for this one, but the charge will be coming through on Armel. Doesn't have a TP for another two seconds. So there's the charge, there's the ulti locking down Armel. The rest of the team trying to come in, but the ball lightning in the TP out, and Armel able to escape easily. Smoke doesn't go right for TNC there. They don't lose the tier two tower. A ball lightning all the way forward. Don't have the vision there for Topson out of the range of the Sentry Ward, and OG looking to come over once again. Armel using a lot of mana, will ball lightning back towards this tower. It's charging all the way in is Jerex, the Tornado, not hitting on anybody. They've got the Spirit Vessel as well as the Cold Snap. OG not fully committing just yet, and as I say that, they want to go all in. They've got Anna moving forward. They'll use the feature to stun up two. Anna getting a little bit low. They'll take out AU. They'll look for the charge for a moment, but Jarek stops it immediately. Whoa, what I miss? OG get a kill. They take the tier two tower over mid. Still the tier one, tier two standing over towards top. Across the river for quite some time as OG, but the ball lightning with the infest and the silence to quickly rip through Warlock. Now they've got the OG on the Anna keeping Topson out, but he'll EMP. They'll use the trying to keep a little bit of mana. They'll pop the Aegis. Let's see if they want to continue on Anna to go for more. The charge across to the Fissure. It lands on the three. Cuckoo now cold snap with the Spirit Vessel trying to run away. Armel looking for a target. They'll get the kill here on Omar. They've got the Electric Vortex blocking in Jerex, but not going to be enough. Meanwhile, Topson, Anna, Seb, setting up onto A as well as Gabby. Gabby in a little bit of the blink. Echo Slam, Fissure, still not enough damage as Gabby able to escape. But Jerex is trying to lock down Armel, who's low on mana. They've disarmed him with the deafening blast. They're continuing forward. He can't fall lightning away, and two heroes fall on TNC's side. Take out both the Mars and the Storm. Gabby does escape eventually with that life stealer. OG starting to mount up quite a lead here, up 5,000 net worth. And this is, you know, TNC trying to do all they can to slow down the push, slow down the pressure of OG, and they've done a, a good job of that. But. OG starting, at least right now, to break away and, and, and gain quite a substantial net worth lead. Just constantly seeing OG on the opposite side of the river, playing on their opponent's side of the map. Looking for pickoffs, looking to stay aggressive. It, it feels like it's been 20 minutes of, of straight OG aggression as they're gonna look for more. Cuckoo gets spotted, Anna blinks forward, he surged up, and they'll charge Cuckoo. They might be able to get another kill here. The Fissure comes through as well as the ulti from Jerex, and they lock him in. He can't run away, the Fissure's there keeping him in place, and they end up getting another pick. Fire's top tower is under attack. Armel just trying to farm over top, go for the BKB. He's got Kaya as well as the Orchid, but he's got to farm up and come back maybe soon as OG were threatening the high ground, but back off for a moment. BKB on Jerax. They've got the Ags ready here on Topson. Zib's got those Guardian Grooves as well as that Pipe. He's going into a Hex. And Anna with the Blink. Basher Midas, he's also going into a BKB, and finally, they'll look to take this tier one tower top. It would appear Radiant's top tower is under attack. During this time, TNC just Radiant's trying to farm up. Gabby's still fallen. sitting second in the net worth. He's not too far behind Radiant's this Ursa. Got himself like at Sanj. Business. Looking for a Heaven's Halberd, and then into an AC. The Abyssal Blade. 
try to be finished as quickly as possible here for Anna and Roche, potentially up in three seconds. Let's see. It's going to be a long one. Three minutes. With OG controlling, you know, across the river, they should have an easier time going for this Roche eventually when it's up. A lot can happen in three minutes, however, so we'll see how TNC are going to try and react. I know we'll try to push out for him as much as he can. He's still going for that BKB. Oh, halfway through it. This BKB is ready for Anna, who takes out the courier. We'll no longer be able to finish off that Evans Albert. Start to posture over top by this tier two. Anna hitting away, but his team waiting by the shrine on the high ground here. And TNC, they want an opening, but they just can't find one. Meanwhile, the charge will come all the way through onto Armel. They will TP to set up for this. Also got Thompson coming in, and let's see what Armel can do. The ball lighting away, attempting to TP out, but the charge, it hits! Oh no, Armel, he gets caught! Did not ball lightning far enough away. And the charge still connected. Ooh, that's just unfortunate. Went all the way across. Topsoon walks through his opponent's jungle with the charge coming all the way in. And Anna 2 being in. And they're able to secure that kill onto the storm. Would appear radiance top I don't wonder what TNC can do here, and it comes down to if they're able to defend and then eventually go for that Roche. If they can win a fight radiance right as that Roche comes up and get themselves the Aegis, they're right back in this game. They'll defend and they'll continue to just farm up where they can, trying to avoid any contact with OG and until the time presents itself. They feel ready to go in. And that is this moment right here. And it's close enough to Roche. 20 seconds till Roche is up. They smoke, they infest, they're looking for a fight. Ball lightning all the way over, and that's going to be onto the Warlock. A quick, quick kill there on Asakshka. And oh, Banana trying to retort. The spear does land. They blocked him off the charge coming all the way across with the BKB. They've got the wall down as well as the Fissure hitting the tornado from through, and that's going to hit him to the mark. Anna continuing to move forward. He'll pop his BKB. They've disarmed Gabby. They're continuing to chase. He'll use the rage, but he gets bashed up. There's the ulti coming in from Jerks to get the kill onto the White Stealer. So they take out at least one. They're looking for more. The charge comes down on a cuckoo. And Anna will just swipe at him. He'll be vacuumed back, and they lose two. And that is not what you're looking for if you're TNC. Ball lightning, but with the cold snap, he's still trying to get out of this. Make it all the way onto the high ground. But with those two kills, OG, Radiant they'll back off and they'll go for the second Aegis. Well, it seems and the also Radiant take that tier two over top, fallen. and as I said, it looked like they were going to back off and go for the second Aegis. They do circle it, they think about it. They make me question what I just said, which is always fine. We'll just go to the high ground. I'm gonna put the dagger in right now. Dyer's structures are fortified. They are Radiant top tower is under attack. Doing some chip damage here onto the tier three tower over top. Gabby back up in eight seconds. This will give them another opportunity to go after this Roche for the side of TNC. They still have everything to play with. They didn't throw the Echo Slime in that last fight. Anything that was used is back off cooldown. Here they go. In a Roche for a moment, but the smoke comes out. Unfortunately, that was under Ward Vision, so they know they smoked up right there. In TNC, they need to set up for this one. They also do scan, so... Know that they're staying, know that they didn't smoke him back off. 
Tops and we'll start with the Tornado. He's going to be silenced. A lot of damage coming in with the Demonic Curse being laid out onto this Invoker, but they've got the wall of place down. There's the vacuum. They get the kill here onto the Earthshaker, who's unable to throw the Echo Slam again. The BKP is going to be caught by Derek. The move forward, trying to get the kill here onto Gabby. He walks out of the pile team that locks in so many heroes, and that is the disengage for TNC. And I think that's a lot better than losing multiple heroes in a fight that just wasn't going your way. They might just need to give up Roche here, but are they willing to do so? They want to re-engage. They just unfortunately can't. The Aegis will be picked up here by Anna. The charge AU, oh god. It's slapped twice by Anna and will get killed. You died to it. Now they've got to defend against the Aegis here on Anna once again. She's here on the Topsin. Gotten their Roche objective, and they will look to push and finish off this game. TNC. Again, still trying to turtle up and, and defend where they can. They haven't really had a fight on the high ground just yet. There's a slow push over top from OG. They ended up backing off and going for Roche, but you can see have about one or two fights left in them before if they lose both of them, this game will end up being just over. They're down 16,000 net worth. And earlier on, they, they had done a good job holding off OG, but it was the constant pressure from OG, the constant fighting, and a couple of consecutive lost fights by TNC that ultimately have put them behind like this. And, and, the, and some major pickoffs as well. Armel especially getting caught out a couple times uh, out in lane pretty far across the river. Ball Lightning with the Infest. They're happy to kill off Warlock once again. However, Topson, he said the charge comes out on Armel. We were talking about this, how he's been caught out a couple of times. The cold snaps on him. He'll try to ball lightning away. But is that just into the hands of another hero of OG? It is! It's in the hands of Anna! Come give him a bear hug! Armel, he gets caught out again. Too far away from the base, over across the river. And ultimately died on his side of the river, but it all originated on OG's end, and now they're looking for more. Is he going to be forced to defend for 45 seconds without the storm? Santa high grounds and front lines for the side of OG, but the charge comes out from Jerax. That's going to land on a Kuku. The BKB is going to pop as well as the wall plays down. The Fissure comes through onto a couple. Jerax hitting away. They have the Spirit Vessel onto the Mars. Disruption to slow down Anna from moving in onto this TNC hero. Gabby hitting away at Jerax. It's just not going to be enough. The charge is hemmed out. They've got the Abyssal Blade. That's not a Gabby. The Chaotic already is going to follow it up. They need an Echo Strike. It's on the back lines, but again, it just does not feel effective enough for TNC. And they will lose this Earthshaker down for 70 seconds. They've lost the tier three. They're losing hope here. And OG are just crumbling these buildings in the TNC base. They move forward. The badge is coming in. Gabby getting well. The Jerex charge forward as well as Armel trying to come in with the electric vertex as well as the BKB. The Vex is going to pull in two of these heroes. Anna getting low, but eventually will have his Aegis popped. He'll be coming in with a second life. Jerex will buy back. He'll be able to charge in. It's quite a speed back into this fight. So it should be five again for OG. We'll form up over bottom and maybe look to engage once again. But Armel with the electric vortex that comes through. Getting low is Anna once again. They've got the spear. They'll get the kill. He's dead for 95. And now let's see if OG want to disengage. They've got the fatal bombs on a couple of these heroes. Thompson getting low. The upheaval is there. Thompson eats the cheese, stays alive, gets the tornado out on the cuckoo. And Armel needs to be careful. Sun Strike at the spot he used to stand, but ball landing away from him. He ends up going down. He's dead for 70 seconds. The charge comes down on the Gabby. They've got the cold set on a cuckoo, and now he's been to the tower, but disarmed and trying to run is OG. They definitely blast both the life stealer as well as the Mars, and they will get out of this one. They were with Anna for 30 seconds in that fight, and TNC didn't come away with anything more. <laughs> T 
PNC just not finding anything 4v5 there. Thompson almost going down, finally eats the cheese, tornadoes to even stay alive. And that landed on Cuckoo. That could have been potentially dangerous there for Thompson had he not landed that on a couple. Finally TNC, they'll go for the tier one over mid. The glyph comes out, they are setting up. Got Jerex nearby. Might even look to charge on this one. They've got the sentry war. They need to be careful. There's the ball lightning as well as the electric vortex. The fissure comes out. That's going to stun up Topson. So he's unable to save the life of Jarex. And now they'll go after the warlock and continue to chase. They've got dust just in case the invoker was under their noses. And they get themselves a second double kill here for Armel. Ever been cause for celebration? OG still holding on to a 17,000 net worth. Lead TNC have lost their mid tier 3 in Ceterax. They did defend the tier 3 over bottom. They were able to take out Anna, who was going in with basically no regard for his own life and ended up losing it twice. They did take him out, and there was some hope there when he did not have buyback for 95. Let's take a look at buybacks, and only Seb and Ormel have them. So, uh, again, if you could catch OG without some buybacks, you can make some damage here on a couple of towers and maybe start to pull the game back. And as I say that, the ball ending over, they'll look for the Warlock. They've got the Shrine nearby, but they've got the Invisible coming in from Anna. As well as the back, you won't come out as well as the Chaotic Offering! They'll take out Armel and Ayo immediately. The Colosseum gets dropped. The Echo Zone on the back by his team gets shredded by Anna, who gets a triple kill. Gabby with a double, but he'll fall anyway. Four heroes dead on the side of TNC. But they take out Topsin, and they take out the Warlock once again. However, four kills there for OG. Not exactly a victory there for TNC. And without Topsin for 85 seconds, but... Anna and Seb will put the pressure on with four heroes down here, looking to force some buybacks, and they will. They get the buyback coming out from Gabby. The glyph comes through as well. Armel has got buyback, but he's dead for 40 more seconds. We'll see if he commits to it. Blink, Abyssal, Gabby just bought back. pressuring they did get what they came for they got a buyback and, th and that's big you kill Gabby he's gonna be gone for a while and most likely gone for the game Haste. while they're waiting for Thompson to come back up they'll pressure these shrines but ultimately back off and make sure that they don't lose anything as they want to be back as five and look to fight and finish the game However, will they even need this invoker? The charge comes out on two. The Abyssal Blade. How are you, AU? And it gets a quick little kill. It well weighs down once again. There's the vacuum. Cuckoo getting low. They've got the fissure that's going to land onto a couple, but it won't keep Cuckoo alive. The look after Gabby as the rage runs out. The sh surge onto this Anna Ursa. He tried to move forward and get a kill, but was unable to catch up. So even without the invoker. Able to take a successful fight, taking out the Mars as well as the Shadow Demon, both dead without buyback. The pressure comes out of the tier. Wars and Rats. Radiant's top barracks has fallen. This is going to be an attempt to wrap all the way out and around. It might be ball lightning over. Tops in lockdown for quite some time. They'll get a quick kill here on the invoker. The BK is going to be topped here by Armel, but they've got Yoshi coming out on the team. So grab him. And now ball lightning needing to get out of this one. As they lose this Earthshaker. And the bottom tier three is next. They took at the top and mid set of racks in tier threes. They've taken to the bottom tier three looking for megas. And bought back, and OG are here is five. 
lot of damage being done here to Ada. He's got the Lotus Orb on him. The Echo Storm's gonna be placed down. They'll get the kill on Ada. He's gonna be dead for 100. He doesn't have buyback to BK. He's gonna be popped by Jerax. Gabby moving out, looking over at the Spirit Breaker, who tries to make his way out of this one. But the Chaotic Offering is gonna be popped on the back ones. They've also got the Fatal Bonds. They'll get the kill here on the Tims, who just bought back. They'll look over. Jerax charging for more. AU low. Couple more shots with the Golem. And Jerax not gonna be enough just yet. But the ball ending all the way over. Looking for the wall. Gets the kill. Now maybe needs to get out of this one. Pops the Lincoln. against the Electric Vortex. Wall is placed down by Seb. Thompson taking a lot of damage. And he falls back. He's dead for over 100. They'll look for Jerax. He'll try to charge up. But there's the disruption. They lock him down. Can they get the kill? Lola Mana is this Storm Spirit. Meanwhile, they drop the Coliseum. They've got themselves the Spear Seb in a lot of trouble. He is gone. Four euros dead on the side of OG. TNC pulling in from the depths of defeat and surviving for a little bit longer. TNC on the brink. Pull it back and they kill Thompson. He bought back previously and he was dead for 70 more seconds. Pushes up. It's a refresher shard, not the Axin. By the power of Goros. OG have been sitting at about this 19,000 net worth lead for it a while now. Capping at about 25,000. But TNC, they're holding on. They're over by the Roach Pit. If Echo saw him back in 30, and Thompson's not up for 30. So, will OG be able to even contest this? They'll buy back on Seb, so here we go. With that buyback, TNC are immediately out. Now you gotta see Armel, he's level 25. He's got their auto remnant when he's ball lightning in these fights. That's gonna disrupt OG, do that much more damage. He's going for an axe, so he's going for the blue hole with the electric vortex upgrade. able to pick up that Ags, and we see the ultimate Vortex. It would be pretty interesting as uh, they are pushing out these waves, keeping their base safe for now as they are trying to posture over by Roche. OG's here as well, back is five, they'll smoke up. And this could be the fight that decides it all. G setting up, Uku leading the front lines. They'll be trying to find somebody out. They go after an illusion, which is unfortunate. Jarek's moving forward. BK is going to be popped. They've got the hex as well as the wall. The figure comes through. It's going to lock on Sam, but they've got themselves the Abyssal Blade. And now the offense is going to be popped because they get the kill onto Armel. Meanwhile, on the backlines, Kuku gets the Coliseum down around three of these heroes. They get the kill on AU, so he's going to be dead. Two heroes gone. They'll buy back. They'll take out Kuku. He's gone too. He'll also buy back. So all three heroes that are gone have bought back. It's still a 5v5, but OG feeling very confident to continue moving forward. And the ball lightning back. They need to continue as Anna kills off AU so quickly. The Chaotic Offering gets dropped down with the Meteor. Cuckoo's going to die as well. They both just bought back. Jared's chasing into the base, but won't go into the well as these three heroes on the side of TNC have been corralled up. And OG still looking to finish. You're 100 seconds without the Mars or the Shadow Demon. Just the bottom set of racks lasting. And this could be what ends it all. Armel hit with the cold snap. He'll immediately pop the BK. He'll look over the Warlock. He'll already dropped the skin. The Golem hitting away at these racks. Meanwhile, Jarek spotted. No fire comes in. But the Abyssal Blade keeps him alive. It'll lock in Gabby, who will finally disarm Anna. Armel needs to get out of here, but the Ice Wall plays down. Jarek actually hits him back into his wall. They get the kill on Gabby, and GG is called. OG, 47 minutes in. Finally take game one. Yeah. 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 Ye